Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about Num Buzzin skincare or Noom Buzzin skincare. This is just a skincare brand that I recently tried out this year. They have a wide variety of products. So it goes by number and the number is supposed to be an indicator of which uh, skin concern you have. Kind of just went with the ones at random I wanted to try because of the formula or because of the color and packaging. So that way you guys can get a little bit more detail on certain numbers within the line and if you actually want to try it out so let's just get started so this one is the numbuzzin number three serum this is a skin softening serum this one i'm starting off with because it's my favorite it's probably the most talked about that i've seen um reviewed and everything online and within good reason because this works amazing so number three serum is a skin softening serum with fermentation ingredients it helps with bumpy skin stretch pores flaky skin and rough skin and it helps to change the texture of your skin. So in the morning time, I just apply this after I have cleansed my skin and before I put my moisturizer on, I use three to four drops, but sometimes I go a little extra with it. Back when I first tried this out, I was trying a bunch of different things, but I did see a noticeable change in my skin. I felt like it was way softer, the texture of it was way smoother, and the pores, I just didn't notice. They were tighter, they were a lot tighter. And I was like, what is doing that? Like, is it the new products I'm trying or is it the new cleanser? I'm trying you know like I was trying to narrow it down because I was trying so many different things and then I realized in the mix I was using this as my daily serum and I was like it has to be this the concept of like skin softening is definitely true for this because when you use it consistently and you know it starts to do its magic the skin does soften the texture completely changes so it does do what it claims it changes completely the texture of the skin this serum is really compared to the estee lauder serum and this one is a lot cheaper and does the exact same thing so i really guys if you take anything from this video recommend you check out the number three num buzz and serum it's a great everyday serum and would work for all skin okay, so types. moving on to the other serum that i tried from the line this one was at random because i wanted to try two out so i knew i wanted to try number three but i picked number six as well because it seemed to have like really great promises and qualities to it so this is the number six deep sleep mask serum it's designed to be used as an overnight mask it's highly concentrated with glacier water Water, but helps with dry flaky and dull skin and how they suggest to use it is to use it at night and to double layer it so put one layer on two to three drops and then go ahead and let that dry apply another layer two to three drops and it will have the full effects of almost a sheet mask so for this one it has like a really big claim like this serum in itself will take the place of a sheet mask every single night in high hopes for this like oh my goodness it's a serum in a bottle and i don't have to do a sheet mask or a wash off mask this would literally take the place of it so i'm gonna say that that claim is kind of mm, like iffy i don't really feel like this takes the place of a sheet mask sheet masks in general if you use them every single night your skin is beaming by like the fifth night you've used them in order for a serum to do that treatment it has to be super intense and i feel like it had to be sealed in if that makes sense because sheet masks really seal in the moisture um so at first i did not like this it does not take the place of a sheet mask i do not see the same results using it consistently as i did with a sheet mask but with that being said, once I started to use this serum more, I feel like what they marketed it as is a little bit different than what I feel like it actually does. This is still a really solid hydrating serum and it's very great for sensitive skin because the glacier water in it is super soothing. So what I like to do is actually wear this underneath makeup. So I have it underneath my foundation today. What I'll do is I will do my skincare in the morning and I will double layer this as a serum for a base for makeup just because it looks so glowy um, it's like a glowy primer almost, but with a lot more skincare benefits to it. And it leaves my skin comfortable and hydrated all day long. It's a good layer to your skincare regimen. And I really do suggest you guys double layer it. That way you will see like the glowy hydration effect it has. But as far as like putting it into your regimen at night in place of a sheet mask, I do not suggest. Um, just because even if you do double layer this at night, it will create a lot of hydration, but it will also kind of like... 
I don't know, I feel like leave you a little disappointed. Like it's not going to give you like that healing, hydrating, glowing effect. But who knows, if I did it at night and I used the whole bottle, maybe it would by the end. But she masks are a really quick fix and they definitely show you results after a few days. If you do check this out, I really suggest to use it as your everyday morning serum and double layer it underneath your makeup. It has a very beautiful finish. But as far as like what it claims for a night serum and what it does, I didn't really feel like it, it delivered. But as a everyday serum, I really prefer this. So it's really crazy that this one is kind of marketed for like, you know, everyday serum and this one's for a night serum. Um, but I like to use number three at night more and I like to use number six for the daytime. So the finishes of these are very different as well. Uh, number three's finish has a lot more like sticky, tacky, mochi-like texture. And number six, um, even when you double layer, it has a lot more like slippery, slyly, kind of almost gel finish texture because it disappears. Those were the two numbas and serums that I checked out. I actually want to try every single one from the line. I know they have a ton, um, but if you guys tried any other numbers, let me know because like, already i'm very very happy with the price point and like the delivery of these the last things. product that i tried i actually tried this one out first and it was the first numbers and item that i've ever seen um so this is the thermal water it's 89 percent mineral toner it has a little burning sensation when i use it because it's a five in one skincare so it's supposed to hydrate soothe exfoliate and moisturize and nourish all in one um, but the exfoliating part comes from a gentle pha so i use this every other day and i use a cotton pad and wipe down my skin with it i tried to pat it in but i do not like patting it in i thought this was going to be like a super hydrating brightening toner but when i did first use it i did not like it because it was burning my skin and it just with all like the irritated areas and the eczema areas like it burned like no tomorrow and then when i researched it's like oh it's not just a nourishing it's actually exfoliating as well that's the tingling sensation that i'm getting but once i found out about that i was like okay i'm not gonna pat this in anymore i'm just gonna use a cotton pad and use it every other day to have a gentle exfoliation in the morning time so what i've been doing is i've been just using this um, and wiping down my skin i let it completely dry the exfoliation part you guys are going to feel on your skin so you're going to feel a tingly sensation and those molecules in the toner kind of working its magic and as far as like the hydrating part it does deliver a little hydration but mostly you're going to feel the tingly part so i feel like that's why i didn't like it at first i was expecting more on like the nourishing hydrating side as far as the toner but this is just a really great basic gentle exfoliating toner daily use is better too i find in the morning it's just like a super gentle toner where you can just like get that quick little prep exfoliation before then you can go in with your skincare and your makeup and it just leaves like a really clean smooth surface so yeah guys i hope that you found this video helpful these are the three numbers and products that i have tried out and that i have my little review about um if you guys have tried any again let me know and let me know what you think because i do want to try more from the so line. i hope that you found this numbers and skincare review helpful and you got a little bit more info on certain ones i know number three serum is really really popular and super like reviewed online but i don't see too much well number two toner too but i don't see too much about number six if you do like these type of videos let me know with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more skincare videos and i will see you in my next one bye